The difference between humoral and cell-mediated immunity is that uh, this time we mainly have B lymphocytes involved and what they do is they can respond uh, to the antigen on the cell surface. And it seems pretty much the same thing as what T lymphocytes do, but there is a major difference. T lymphocytes can only bind to antigens that has been bound with a MHC complex. So that means that it can only really recognize antigen presenting cells or cancer cells. Whereas B lymphocytes, they can respond to APC, uh, but they can also respond to pathogens directly. And the idea of it is once they've responded to that, they can uh, make lots and lots of specific antibodies for the counter attack. And that is, in a nutshell, humoral immunity. So we'll go now go through the actual process of it. So in, it, in this case, the first step is clonal selection, where a specific B lymphocyte is selected to proliferate and divide. So in the beginning, we've got lots and lots of B lymphocytes, and each of these B lymphocytes have slightly different antibodies on the surface already. Um, so for example, we can have a sort of round-shaped one, or we can have a V-shaped one, or even square-shaped antibody as well. So we've got different types of it. And in this case, uh, it really depends which pathogen we encounter, and one of them will be selected if they are com if they have a complementary antibody to the antigen. So let's say, for example, in this case, we've got a pathogen coming in, and it's got antigens that looks like this. Okay, this one will be selected because it's got a complementary sort of Y-shape-ish uh, antibody. Because it's complementary, it will bind to the uh, pathogen there, and then it will allow it to be engulfed. So almost like a uh, macrophage. So once it engulfs it and processes it, it becomes an antigen presenting cell. So rather than using the MHC complex, it just has the antibody with the antigen on the surface that is bound. So it becomes like this. So this is when we say that the cell becomes a B antigen presenting cell. And so this is where humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity can sort of um, link. So as we mentioned before, T helper cells, T cells in general, can only respond to uh, altered cells. So in this case, it's responding to a B antigen presenting cell. So its receptors can recognize the antigen complex here, and then it becomes activated. Once it's activated, it will release the interleukins, which then goes off to signal the cells to do different things. This selected B antigen presenting cell will then proliferate and divide by mitosis to make uh, B plasma cells. What they're trying to do is to make sure that they can make lots and lots of that specific antibody. So this antigen presenting cell it must be selected. So this is what we say the primary immune response. Apart from B plasma cells, they can also go off to make B memory cells. As we mentioned before, B memory cells provide immunological memory of the specific antigen. So these B memory cells will pretty much have the same antibody on the surface, but it's just that they can live a lot longer. So they will circulate around the body for a really long time. And it waits in the body uh, until we get the same pathogen attacking. It will become activated like that, and it will proliferate into B plasma cells. So pretty much the same thing. And then they go off to make lots and lots of the specific antibody in a much shorter amount of time. And this, bit is what we call the secondary response and this is going to be a lot more uh, prominent in terms of our studies uh, later on when we talk about vaccines because vaccination relies on this particular immune response and so there you have it so you get immoral immunity where B lymphocytes respond to antigens are either on alter cells or just free floating pathogens. We get different types of B cells in the beginning with different types of antibody on the cell surface. But the one with the complementary antibody will bind to the antigen and it will engulf it like a macrophage and becomes a B antigen presenting cell. After that, it will get recognized by the T helper cells and activates it. And then the activated T helper cells release interleukins to signal the B antigen presenting cell to do further things. So it will then proliferate into making B plasma cells to make lots and lots of the antibodies to go off and kill the pathogen. And it can also make B memory cells so that in the future, if we get the same pathogen attacking, we can respond to it very, very quickly. Just some keywords here. So this bit here where we are recognizing and choosing which B cells to use, this is what we called clonal selection. When the interleukins signal it to 
replicate itself and proliferate is what we call clonal expansion. And there you have it, humoral immunity.